Hi there, this is my first uh, coin slash silver stacking video. Uh, I'd like to go over some of the things I got and what I'm getting into. And uh, I hope you enjoy. So let's dig in. Well, pretty much uh, what got me started on this whole thing is the 1974 Israel 10 Lirat. 26 grams, 37 millimeter, 900 silver. Look at that nice tarnish. This coin belonged to my grandfather. I traded my father a pair of pliers for it. At the same time, I acquired these. 74 proof set of all the lower denominations. All copper nickel. I'll leave that as my heirloom. To continue on my 74 collection, I uh, got the Ben-Gurion 10 Lirats. This is a very, very pretty coin. It's 935. There's 175,000 in the world. It's very coveted. And likely, uh, wisely so. So, after that, you've got the Hanukkah coin. This one's only 0.5 silver, you know, so I'm not too, too, too hip about it. But 125,000 of those in the world. I need the Tenlirat Pidyon Haben. It's very similar to that. Much more coveted, hard to come by. I always got a big going on one. So, no harm, no foul. It's one of my earlier purchases. Random rounds and bars, one grams. There's a grain down there. That was a freebie. They're kind of neat. You know, they pro will only increase in value as spot goes up. Got a 1939 Mercury. Very good shape. Lovely tarnish. Got that while cashiering. Couldn't believe it when they put that on the counter. Behind that is a cold out Buffalo Nickel. My roommate found that in his drawer at work. You can't read the year or nothing, but it's cool to have. Got a couple of the 64 JFK half dollars. One's got a really beautiful toning all over it. Purchased these off a of buddy. I paid him market value just because he came to me with them. So here's a pawn shop uh, score. Five bucks, seventy-nine Susan B. Proof Mint set. Very nice. Then I've got the seventy-nine, seventy-eight combo year proof set, ten bucks. So I got nine Susan B's for fifteen dollars. This was the come up here. I couldn't believe it. Uh, five bucks for this twentieth century quarter collection. And you've got the nineteen ten Barber quarter. The 1925 Standing Liberty Quarter. A 1951 Washington Silver Quarter. A 1980 Washington Quarter in the Bicentennial. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that the Barber Quarter is in better shape than that Walking Liberty Quarter. You know. Very neat set for five bucks. The melt value on just those three is $2.78 a piece. Oh, um, let's see. Bought this with a 2013 Silver Panda, but the guy sent me two 2015s. He sent the other 2015 back, and he never sent the other one, so I, uh, demanded a refund. It's got this really strange... I can't really see it there. The reeded edge on this is slanted. There you go. You see that? It's at like a little bit of an angle. It's very cool. Change year to year. Good stuff. Probably won't get a whole lot of them because they uh, increase in value really fast. Makes them hard to keep up with. This is my favorite, besides that 74. American Silver Eagle. 
they just came out with the 2016s. I want to get the whole roll of like 20 of those. But I'd like to get more of these. I don't care what year. If they're toned or not. They're just really, really lovely coins. <clears throat> Similar to that is the uh, Libertad. Because you know, it's one of those really wide coins. It's a little thinner, but it's pretty wide. It's a very pretty coin. I like them a lot, you know. If if I had enough, I would probably try and get more. But I might not. Now this is very beautiful. I would definitely love to get lots more of these. You know, you got the extra nine there at the end. You got four nines instead of three. This one has a maple privy on it. Very cool. One of the many Queen Elizabeths. She's not wearing a crown on that one. It's got very nice etching in there. Catch that? Okay. 2015 Koala. Actually, the case on the American Eagle there came from this Koala over here. And these change year to year. I would definitely like to pick up more. They just came out the 2016s also. Underneath that, got the New Zealand Turtle. I really like this guy a lot. There's a two ounce version of this. I'm definitely going to get at least one of. It's not much wider, but it's much thicker. Beautiful reeded edge on that one. Really dig those New Zealand coins. Let's see, you've got the Britannia. These haven't changed in a couple years, but some of the older designs are really cool. Again, the uh, Queen Elizabeth. And then you got the Somalia elephant. This has also got an extra nine on it. Yeah, so that's a pretty much what I got there. You know, I've got a couple silver bars in the pawn shop, so when I get those out, maybe I'll make another video about it or something. You know, there's a few I'd like to pick up. You know, I'd like to get a Philharmonic. Uh, wouldn't mind an Armenian Noah's Ark. Um, those are the couple ones I'm thinking about. There's a Canada. They, they just came out with a Cougar one or are about to release it. You know, I would definitely pick up one of those. So, if you have any... Uh, Questions, comments, suggestions, whatnot, uh, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully you'll hear again from me soon.